Hi, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to dodge and burn. If you're not familiar with what dodge and burn is and what it does, you're gonna love this tutorial. Dodge and burn basically allows you to change the contrast of your image. So in essence, we are going to be changing areas that are in shadow and areas that are in highlight. And what we basically do is make the darker areas darker and the lighter areas lighter. And that then creates contrast. Now, when it comes to beauty, if you're working with a makeup artist, they would do a technique called contouring. And what contouring is basically real life dodge and burn. And in essence, what they're doing is darkening the darks and brighten the highlights. If you look at the before and after, so this is the before, and then if you look at the after, you see what I mean, and you can see how powerful this technique is. So all I've done is dodge and burn the face there, and that's given us a little bit more of a three-dimensional look to the image, and we've darkened the darks and we've brought the highlights up. It's a really, really simple and easy technique. So I'm gonna start from the beginning and walk you through how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is come down to the bottom here and create a new curves adjustment layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to just bring this curves down so it becomes dark. Okay. We're going to do the same again. So a new curves adjustment. There we go. We're going to click in the middle and push up. And this is going to be our highlights. Okay. So let's name these then. So the first one is the dark of the two and this is called burn and then the top one is the brighter of the two and I'm going to call that one dodge so if you ever get confused about what dodge and what burn which one is which so burn is just imagine something that's being burnt it's going to be darker okay so that's an easy way of remembering the difference between dodge and burn and which one does which so burn is always going to be something that looks like it's been burnt and the dodge is almost, it's managed to dodge the fire. Think of it like that. Okay, so what we want to do now is just invert these. So I'm going to click on the white mask there and click Control or Command I and it will invert and make the selection black. So it basically means now them adjustments have been covered up. I want to come over to the brush tool. Okay, make sure our foreground color is set to white. You can click on these arrows or you can press X and that will reset the colors for you. Come up to the brush tool up here. Got a hard round brush there and the opacity at 100%, flow at 100%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the, um, the burn option first. So this is gonna be the, uh, the darker areas and I'm just gonna start painting in. So there is some sort of technique to this. So what I'm gonna do is just follow the tops of our head there. And if you look closely, you can kind of see where naturally these dark areas are. So here, here, around the cheek, down here. Okay, um, around her nose. So if you've ever done contouring before with makeup, it's pretty much the same thing. So we're just trying to create a little bit more shape to the face and there would be some contouring down here as well I'd imagine there okay so let's do the same with the dodge so the highlighted areas so across here there we go middle of the nose so if you click and then hold down the shift key click again that'll give you a dead straight line and then underneath the eyes and along the cheek. As I said, you can almost see where that them highlights are. A little bit across here, and then a little bit on the chin, and maybe a little bit here as well. So that's kind of our contouring. We could maybe even just add a little bit up here as well, across her eyebrows, there we go, because I can see where that light is hitting. So now what we need to do is to blend this, because obviously we, this isn't gonna be the final image. So let's start with the dodge, because we're, we're on that. So all you need to do is come to the actual layer there and just double click on it. This will load up the properties panel. And once that's loaded up here, all you wanna do is come to where it says feather and just start increasing it. So as you start increasing it, you'll see that they start to blend. And when we get to a certain point, they will start to blend perfectly and just give you enough of a effect that it works. There is a tipping point with this, you can go too far. 
that I have here and it's completely got rid of the actual adjustment so I think around there for this particular image she does have dark skin so I need to push this feather a little bit higher than than someone with uh, lighter skin so I'm going to press OK to that and you can see that on the actual effect there it is slightly blurred so now let's go to the burn let's double click on the burn wait for the properties panel to load up again go to the feather and start increasing it until the adjustments that we've just done start to blur now again there will be a tipping point with this where the effect will start to disappear which it has there so I'm just going to bring it back slightly until I'm happy so I would say there you can play around and uh, really refine the actual detail so let's press OK and there we've now got dodge and burn to the face and it's the same technique as contouring. So let's group these together. So just click on the top one, the top one there, it says dodge, hold the shift key down, select the burn layer underneath, and then press Control or Command G to group them together. And that could be your dodge and burn folder there. So let's have a look at the before and after. So this is obviously the after, here's the before, and you can see what that has actually done. It's created more contrast to the image. It's really brought out them highlights and really darkened down them them shaded areas you can see the the dark areas now obviously you can go back you can just click on the layer again and you can change the adjustment now it will reset to zero but don't worry because if you carry on increasing that it will still increase that that particular effect so don't worry too much I hope that's made sense I hope you've enjoyed that and you can start trying this on your images it's a really simple process you don't have to do this just for beauty shots you can use this in all areas of your photography um, but it's certainly a technique that is used within beauty retouching before uh, and after frequency separation is applied because it can really make your images pop and come alive and you can see the difference there the original image is is fairly there is some contrast there but it's quite flat and we've just really made that pop a little bit more and it gives us a, a, a much much better final result so i hope you've enjoyed that I'll see you in the next video.